coming up next is the one we've all been waiting for, for the Heavyweight World Championship. The defending champion, Brandon Fuhrer. The challenger, Arjen Bula. Our global rule set means it's five rounds of action judged in its entirety. There are no kicks to the head of a grounded opponent, but you can knee to the head of a grounded opponent. Let's take a look at the challenger, Arjen Bula. To be the king, you gotta take out the king. A Commonwealth Games wrestling gold medalist. A swag of world titles to his name. History stays forever. I'll be a world champion for life. And to be the first Indian world champion, you can never take that away. When Indian fans see me, I want them to see themselves. I want them to know one of their own is now a world champion. I want to ignite this whole subcontinent. I want the whole country to embrace the sport. Inside this Singapore indoor stadium, it is time for the main event that all the world, and particular India, has been waiting for. The brooding, bearded, bald figure of the challenger, Arjem Bula, a chance to make history tonight, to become not only India's first ever mixed martial arts world champion, but India's first ever heavyweight combat sports world champion. It's never been done before, but Arjun Bula is confident that he can be the man to do it tonight. He says he finishes the champion, Brandon Vera. The intensity this man has brought in his preparation, in his media interviews and engagements all week around the hotel, around Singapore, has been insane. And look at the eyes. The laser-like focus of Arjun Bulla. Ha! The big gold mace over the shoulder. Walked past backstage earlier on. You could hear him grunting, pounding in his change room. He has never been more ready than he is tonight, Arjun Bulla. And he needs to be ready because he is taking on a man who has been untouchable and run through everyone in the heavyweight division in Brandon Vera. The thumping music, the thumping footsteps of the Indian wrestling megastar. Representing India, the challenger, Arjun Singh Bula. All of our fans watching on Star in India. This is the man they are hoping will bring home the gold. And 34-year-old Arjun Bulla, fighting out of Punjab, India, become India's first ever world champion. Will history be made tonight by the Commonwealth Games wrestling gold medalist, Arjun Bulla? Stomps his way to the circle. A man with mean intentions. Arjun Buller brings a huge wrestling pedigree with him inside the circle. We've seen Arjun really put together a lot of fancy handwork showcasing good head movement, aggressive forward pressure. Here, what he showed against Cirilli was an aggressive stand-up routine. He likes the dirty box, likes to work his way into the clinch, control the head, throw lots of uppercuts. He's incredibly fast. He's got good movement for a heavyweight, and he also packs a punch. He does his best work inside the clinch, but I would expect that he's gonna try to bring something different to the table here tonight. I don't think he's gonna want to stand and bang with the truth, Michael. Rich Frank, when you talk about Arjun Bula, you talk about pure intensity. Absolutely. And one of the things I love about Arjun here is that he has a gas tank as well. We saw him working his hands against Sorelli there, but he did that for 15 minutes with those combinations. He didn't attempt very many takedowns. His best, his best route to victory against Brandon Vera is looking to take him into deep waters because it's been a while since Brandon's been there. So I would be looking to test that gas tank. The final preparations for Arjun Bula. He is ready. And certainly India 
is ready for their first ever world champion. Is this the man to finally do it for India? And he takes on a tremendous heavyweight. A heavyweight who has been absolutely unstoppable in the division. The Philippines, Brandon Vera. It's a lead hook, a swinging. Oh, he gets caught! With all these monsters that won championship is signed, it's definitely lit a fire under my ass. I am getting faster, stronger. I am looking forward to fighting each and every single one of them. They're all hoping that I retire and that I just go away and give the belt back to the division. That heavyweight world title is mine. That's gonna be mine until I decide it's my time to go. That belt is coming home with me. The rightful and true champ. The heavyweight champ. That's who I am. It is somewhere that Brandon Vera has been many times before. The world's heavyweight champion about to make the walk along the hallway of champions. Look at the focus on Vera. Are we going to see a new Brandon Vera? After losing in his light heavyweight title quest against Ong Lan Sung, he went to Florida. He now trains alongside the former world's champion Ong Lan Sung and Martin Nguyen with trainer Henry Hooft and the team out of Sanford MMA. He says he's more powerful, more aggressive, he's faster, and he is coming to clean out the entire heavyweight division. 2021, the year of the heavyweights in one. We've absolutely stacked the roster. And Vera says they'll be like bowling pins. I'll strike them all out. It begins with Arjun Buller tonight. Can Vera finish the Indian wrestling star quickly? as he has done to so many. Representing the Philippines, the one heavyweight world champion, Brandon the Truth Vera. Brandon Vera staring and Arjun Bula in the circle. What an entrance here from Vera. How dominant he has been as the heavyweight world champion here at one. Mitch, what do we expect from Brandon Vera, who is reinventing himself at Sanford MMA alongside his training partner, former world champion Olan Sun? Yeah, Michael, you said dominant, but that doesn't even begin to describe Brandon Vera. He is the first and only heavyweight champion one championship has ever known, and it's because of this. It's some smooth counter-striking. Four men have tried, four men have gone to sleep. He will start you if you enter his range. He will put you down. He says he's not but these big heavyweights keep running at him. And I talked to him about his smooth counter-striking style and how would it fit with the style over there at Sanford MMA. And he says, you know what, Mitch? I started this game, Dutch kickboxing. His first coach was the great Rob Kaman, Michael. Oh, that he I did not know that Rob back, was his first coach. Way back in wow. the day. So he says he was born and bred to do Dutch style kickboxing. So they fit together like a puzzle piece. He was the missing puzzle piece, and Sanford MMA fit right into it. Look at that. 75% finishing rate, but he's got a 100% finishing rate here inside one championship. It's time for the truth to let you know, Rich Franklin. It is going to be extraordinary here. The truth to take on Big Bad Buller. It is our main event for the Heavyweight World Championship. It is the Philippines versus India. Freestyle versus Kushti. Let's go to Tom Lau for our official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen. The main event of the evening! Five rounds of five minutes for the one heavyweight world 
Championship! Our three judges scoring this bout at Circle Side are Thomas Kendrick of Sweden, Rosenberg Rossetti of the Philippines, and Darren De Silva of Singapore. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, he stands at 185 centimeters tall, holding a mixed martial arts record of 10 wins and only one loss. Training out of American Kickboxing Academy. Representing India. Stepping into action is Arjun Singh. And introducing his opponent out of the red corner. He stands at 191 centimeters tall, holding a mixed martial arts record of 16 wins and eight losses. Training out of Alliance Training Center. Representing the Philippines. Get ready for the reigning and defending one heavyweight world champion, Brendan The Truth Vera. And when the action begins, three in charge, Mr. Justin Brown. Athlete center. Gentlemen, you both know the rules. I expect a clean match. Obey my commands at all times. Defend yourselves at all times. Do not strike the back of the head or the spine. Let's watch the low blows. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Back up. What a stare down between these two men. They could beat a statue in a staring contest. Watch the striking of Brandon Vera, particularly the fadeaway left hook. And watch the wrestling of the Kushki Good. stylist. 58. Traditional form Good. of Indian wrestling. Good. Now Good. three. Thousand years old. Round one. Let's go. What happens if Arjun Bullock puts Brandon Vera on his back? And let's see if Vera can hit the jaw of Bullock. Inside leg kick. Fast start here from the champion. Yeah, this is that moment of truth, Michael, where we see if Arjun is actually going to work those takedowns we like we talked about, or try to put fists in Brandon's face. He's never allowed to relax. He's never allowed to relax. There we go. Buller said he wants to keep this forward pressure on. He does not want to give Brandon Vera the chance to start coming forward. So he's going to keep that forward pressure until Brandon Vera breaks. Brandon switching to southpaw here. Both men in southpaw starts at the moment. Nice inside leg kick out of southpaw. Back to orthodox now. Southpaw again for Brandon. The champion has finished everyone at heavyweight. Good low check there from Bulla. Double left hand from Bulla. Orthodox stance now from him, also from the champion. Long reaching jab from Vera. Bulla's doing a great job here with his head movement and moving around. He's backing Brandon up. He's not getting overly anxious, over pursuing, which Brandon oftentimes depends on for those, those counter strikes that he lands. And Arjun Bulla become India's first ever world champion. Champion. Yeah, Rich Fuller's also got really good parrying tactics. He's doing a good job of defending with his guard and not taking a lot of these shots straight on, which a lot of people have done. And Fuller landed a nice little right hand right there. Henry Hook calling for the jab. Wants the left cross for company. Let's go, let's go. Pressure. Vera constantly switching stance in this opening round. Good job. I think this is the most static I've ever seen Brandon. He's typically moving his feet, and this time he's he's planted without hardly any footwork. I'm not sure if this is a strategic decision or if he's making a mistake here. Typically, we see a lot of lateral movement from Vera. He's always moving backwards. He circles around the wall, utilizes the entire space very well. But you can see how Buller turns and cuts off that circle. He's not allowing Brandon to utilize a lot of that movement as Buller again comes over with that right hand. Brandon's going to be careful not to drop that left glove. Buller trying to thread the overhand right. Has come close twice now. 
Catches the jab as pull up. See how both these guys are switch hitting. They're both staying, changing stances just to give each other a different look. And they're also very effective off of both stances. Jab to overhand right again. Going for the headache maker there, Arjun Bullock. Both back to Southpaw starts. Jab from Vera. Buller's doing a great job with these little micro movements of his feet. The feint there with the jab throws Brandon on his footwork. First takedown attempt was successful as he turned the corner on the single leg. Brandon Vera's got high level jujitsu here. We haven't often seen it, Mitch, in one championship from Brandon Vera because most of his fights end on the feet. Exactly, and they also end around this time, too. They rarely go past the, the first the round, and Buller's doing a good job right now of controlling the half, not really trying to pass. You can see Vera is trying to attack the left arm of Buller. He might be looking for a Kimura on that side and possibly using it for a sweep, but Buller's really heavy here in the half guard. Yeah, Bowler's staying heavy to keep that, that left arm of his protected because Brandon has that lockdown on that arm. So Bowler's doing a good job of like wrapping that out into his waist because if he tries to move, he's going to pick that waist up inevitably just for movement purposes, and that's going to open that hole for Brandon to be able to pull that arm out. Let's go, work the finish. You got a minute. One minute remaining, first round set for five in our world heavyweight title first main round. event here at one championship, Dungal. Shoulder heavy in him. Both sides of the before we do anything. On the edge of their seats in the Philippines for Brandon Vera. On the edge of their seats in India on star for Arjun Bulla. And certainly so much interest right around the world. Let's go, work the finish. Especially to see if Arjun Bulla can not only become the first man to beat Vera at heavyweight here, but the first man to become a world champion from India. Kind of a stalemate right now. Go, the referee might finish. stand him back up. No. We only got about 25 seconds though. You can see Buller, Bear is trying to create some movement, trying to create some pride, but it's hard to move Buller. Look how heavy he is in the half guard. Rich, is there any scoring going on here? No, the, uh, I mean, Buller landed the scoring on the takedown. There hasn't been much done since Ten then. Seconds, work Brandon's to looking for this submission hold, but he hasn't been able to isolate enough to really create any kind of danger for Buller. So this really is a stalemate position. Sam Hill kicks to the hamstring to end the round for Brandon Vera and Arjen Buller. Folks, let us know your thoughts on social media at one championship across all your social media platforms. Interesting first round. We saw Brandon with a successful leg kick there as Buller was coming forward. Good defensive strategy on the feet from Buller, but then this was the biggest moment of that first stanza. He was able to turn the corner, put Brandon Barrett down. Brandon immediately went after the Kimura. Buller settled into the half guard, flattened him out, and was able to ride out the rest of those five minutes. Look at both men in their respective quarters. Second round of five. Rich, your thoughts after the opening five minutes? I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm razor edging this one out to Bowler. He landed the takedown. He was able to control the footwork up top. He landed quite a few of those, a couple of those right hands. And two combinations coming in. It just looked like he dictated the pace in the first round. So, again, this is a very marginal lead. Yes. Well, they'll be going nuts right now in India, watching the star after hearing that Rich Franklin has Bula doing very well in the first five minutes. Maybe slightly ahead, but do not forget we do score as an overall contest, not individually round by round. Jab to a big leg kick there from Brandon. You can see how Bula reacted on that one. He immediately tried to reach down and deflect that, possibly reaching for the leg kick so he could run the pipe and look for a takedown. But Brandon Vera throws heat when he starts landing those leg kicks. You sense the mercury may be rising from Brandon Vera. He does have 12 finishes in 16 wins, Vera. Three finishes in 10 wins for Arjun Bula. Jab has been tight tonight from Brandon Vera. Very fast, and again, coming from the waist, there's the overhand left from Vera. Don't forget, folks. Oh, right hand there from Buller, stunned him. A beauty there from the Indian. Left hand, Vera's hurt. The 
uppercut from Buller. And Vera trying to create some space and get away. Two great punches from Arjun Buller. Yeah, Vera's got to land something significant. It's really hard to get a read on Buller because his head is never in the same spot. He's utilizing a lot of feints, and he found his moment, came right across with that right hand and wobbled Vera. And the, you know those feints he's using? He's using a lot of feints going down, looking like he's going to do a knee pick as well with those shots. And so now he's got Brandon guessing. He's got those level changes, and it's really hard to get a read. Brandon's got to change things up because he's wobbled a little bit. That right hand keeps touching Brandon. Overhand right, the headache maker, the cranium cracker from Bula. Good stiff jab to the schnoz. Nicely done from Arjun Bula. Brandon now, Brandon now is only throwing punches, single punches at a time. He's not putting any kind of combinations together. I think he's gotten to the point where Bowler's got him guessing so much that he's rarely picking up his feet like that for kicks. Overhand right. Outside late kick from Vera. I believe the corner of Bula was saying he's ready to go. I believe a couple of more clean punches on Vera could do the trick. You can never write off the heavyweight champion, though. What a dominant champion Vera's been. As Mitch said, the only heavyweight champion in one history. Body shot. Beautifully done. Tried to fold him in half like origami. Jabs for the right hand. There's the right now. Let go, kids. Let go. And he take down Vera again. Vera dropped to his knees, Rich. Yeah, he's the back of the head. right Keep now. Clean. Keep it clean. This is um, once you have Bowler on top of you like this. This is this is Defend control. Yourself, you see how heavy his hips were before when he, Brandon had him in that Kimura lock, and this is this is gonna be a tough this, tough position for Brandon to get out of. Have a look at Arjun Buller running down the punishment on Brandon Vera. India will be going into a meltdown right now. Is Buller on his way to capturing the world title to become India's first ever world champion? But Brandon Vera still here, Mitch. Yeah, he's doing a good job of not taking a lot of these shots. He's utilizing that veteran experience, covering up really well, and not taking a lot of damage right now. You can see he's trying to stand up. Buller's very heavy. Buller's picking his shots carefully not to gas out. He's got about 75 seconds here to really put it on him because the momentum is definitely turning in Buller's favor. Buller trying to manhandle, trying to bully and roughhouse Brandon Vera. Vera on his knees again. Can he kill the Punjab punches into the side of the head? Yes, there they are. And from Punjab, India, trying to rain down the blows on Vera. Yeah, Brandon needs either turn into him, quit, quit exposing his back like this. So he needs to either turn into him, or he needs to get up off his off his knees and onto his feet. It's an Indian world champion. It's an Indian world champion, and his name is Arjun Bulla. Can you believe it? India has a world champion. India has a heavyweight world champion. Arjun Bulla has done it. Wow. Arjun Bulla just shook up the heavyweight division. We've got a new king of the heavyweights. He was looking good on the feet, finding a home with the right hand, went to the body, and then got things to the ground, did some damage, and was just too much. Rich Franklin, India has arrived. Indian martial arts finally has a world champion. Yes, absolutely. Heavyweight champ right here you guys are looking at, and I'll tell you what, he came into this match with the best game plan you could possibly have against Brandon Vera. He was able to freeze Brandon Vera's feet in the first round. Brandon wasn't teeing off like he normally does, and then he got him guessing. When Brandon thought he was gonna shoot, he would land overhand rights like that. All those feints that Mitch was talking about before, feints with the jab, feints with the knee picks where he would pretend like he was gonna go down and take him down, and then he would just follow up with right hands and wobbling Brandon like this. This was a systematic dismantling. What a way to cap off one championship, Dungal. The age of India is upon us here at one championship, and it's being led by the big, bald, and powerful Arjun Buller, who just roughhoused Brandon Vera and finished the now former champion, 
in two rounds. My word. Let's go to Tom Lau to make it all official. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Justin Brown, has called a stop to this contest after four minutes and 27 seconds in the second round for your winner by way of technical knockout and new one heavyweight world champion, Adjan Bulaar. It's an Indian world mixed martial arts champion. It's a heavyweight world combat champion. It's Arjun Bula. The dream comes true. They could not have scripted this in a Bollywood movie. The reign of gold over the circle. The reign of gold begins for Arjun Bula. Now a part of the most stacked heavyweight division ever in one championship history. The torch has been passed. Champion number two, Arjun Bula. And for India, of course, champion number one. Richard, so, such a pleasure to be a part of witnessing sports history. Let's go to the Dragon now with Brandon Vera. Brandon, this did not look like the truth we've known to come and see. As you seem different, you were flat-footed, the gas tank wasn't there. What was going on? You know, I wish I had an answer. Man, I'm sorry, Sanford MMA. I'm sorry for all my family that I didn't perform the way I could and should have. I don't know. This is the first time in my entire career that I actually felt gassed in the first round. It was weird. I'm in shape. We've been training our ass off. We've been working with the best people in the world. I don't know. I don't know. This is new for me. It seemed like you had a problem with the leg. You went down. Um, was there something going on there with the body, or did you just feel the significance of the shots? Uh, I hurt my ribs during camp, and he caught me with a good one right on the ribs. <laughs> I mean, it's just part of the gig, you know? That's what we do. There's no excuse. He hit me with a lot of other stuff before he hit me with the ribs. But uh, I don't know, man. I really don't know. I'm really annoyed with myself and disappointed. And I don't have that strap. I'm not the world champ right now. It's not sitting well. So I don't know. We just keep training. We go back to Sanford. We just keep grinding. We get my belt back. But what's next for Brandon Vera? Right now in this pandemic world, I'm going back to Florida where it's open and go train at Sanford, go get better, come back, and work on getting that belt back. All right, Brandon, hope to see you back soon. Thank Take you very much. Have a safe trip. Thanks, Dragon. Thank you. Always a gentleman, Brandon Vera. And a lot of emotion there from the now former world champion. Let's go to the Dragon now with Arjun Bulla. India's first mixed martial arts world champion, Arjun Buller. How's that sound, my friend? Amazing. India, we got one now. Your first world champion, baby. Let's go. You told me earlier this week that you wanted to put the pressure on him until he broke, and that was the game plan, and that's exactly what happened. Is this how you envisioned this whole thing playing out? Absolutely. We were going to box him up, get him in that range, wrestle him, pressure him, break him. That was the game plan. You didn't name this Dungle for no, for no effing reason. I don't know if I can swear. Um, I won this in a Dungle. This is for the grand champions. That's where this comes from. Only the best, only the biggest, only the baddest get one of these. So you best believe I was going to perform tonight. Uh, I wanted you to walk me through this because it was just beautiful. The way you heard him with that overhand right, you went to the body, but then you were patient when things hit the ground. I want you to walk me through this and tell me exactly what's going through your mind when you realized you could become a world champion. 
Just patience. I knew I was going to hurt them. My coaches knew I'm well trained, guys. Uh, I've been with the best since day one. Out of Vancouver, Jay Johnson striking, Adam Ryan Jiu Jitsu. Um, you know, I, I knew I was going to hurt them. And the plan was just keep it, keep patient. I came in the lightest I've ever been um, intentionally. We were going to go five rounds of that. And I did not believe he had five rounds uh, up against mine. Like, there's no way. Well, we've got a stacked heavyweight division, and as you look to the future, is there a name of somebody you would like to face inside the circle as your first title defense? Most definitely. Um, there's a Korean heavyweight out there who shut up a loud mouth recently. I call him the Iranian killer. He beat two of them in one month. Um, I believe he should be the guy who gets this next, and that's who I'd love to face. Uh, while the rest of the division sorts itself out, I think he's earned his keep. But... Before my next fight, I do want to say one thing. I have reached the pinnacle of this sport. Now I want to attack the pro wrestling industry. AEW, WWE, I'm coming for you guys next. Consider this a warning shot. So that was a call out to Kong Ji Won? For the fight, absolutely. All right, AEW Kogji won. Either way, I'm buying that ticket. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and new one heavyweight world champion, Arjun Buller. How about that confidence? And why not? He won the Mason at Dungal. He caps off one Dungal tonight by becoming India's first ever world champion. And he says, Kogji won. You can have the first crack at the crown.